Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. You know, we all probably have that friend, relative, or neighbor that hasn't spent a lot of time in the outdoors. Well, last year we made it our challenge to introduce our old buddy, Matza Matt, from Brew Pub Pizza to some of our outdoor adventures. We told him that as long as you bring the pizza, we'll take you along. I got a chance to take him ice fishing with me last winter, and to say he was more than excited is probably an understatement. Well, on this week's show, Captain Lee Hosh has Matt on the shores of Lake Michigan. He's about to introduce him to trolling for salmon and lake trout. We're gonna go do a little fishing today. We're gonna see if we can't catch us some king salmon and some really, really nice steelhead uh, variety of sizes nice. and they're they jump out of the water, so we're gonna, it's a lot of excitement. We talked a little bit earlier about, you know, the skills required in fishing. There's really not a lot you have to do with this type of fishing. Okay. We'll have everything set, we'll be trolling through the water, and, you know, when there's a fish on, if uh, you get to a point where you're a little comfortable, you see the rod go, if you want to grab it, fine. Otherwise, uh, my deckhand Trevor, will, you know, he'll grab it, or if I'm back there, we'll grab it and get, it, get you all set. Okay. Um, talk you through any of the situations, but it's it's super easy. Everybody can do this type of fishing. So now I'm gonna put this out here, and this is a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. Okay. And then it see how it's tied in right to this uh, 34 pound uh, lead core. Yep. And this is basically a weighted fly line. This this particular pole will run around 50 to 55 feet down. Okay. Okay. And there'll be 10 colors. Each color is 10 yards. Okay. So there's a lot of reeling on this <laughs> one. Folks. All right. So th when you start to see a color that you're that you know is kind of close, you know you're getting close to bringing it in. Oh yeah. If you see Red is the farthest. Red. Okay, all right. And gray is the closest. So <laughs> when you, you see gray, gray, you're you're feeling good. Yeah, you're in the home stretch. All right, sweet. <laughs> and you're letting the string all the way up. Yep. And then uh, when okay. see we're getting to red here. Yep. And uh, oh, there's get, blue. Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. And when we get to red, I'll grab that planer board right there, and uh, put that on, and that'll get it away from the boat out to the side, allowing us to run more lines. Yeah, because that's the thing. We're gonna kind of be covering the different depths, and we're gonna be out wide yep. of the boat, right? Yep. Okay, cool. So we're gonna take this planer board. Ah, so what, yeah, what does this do now? Now this, I'll clip this on here and I'm actually double wrapping this so it doesn't slide down. Okay. This will slide until it gets to the knot right here. Okay. And then I take this plunger release and I'm clipping the line in there. And when a fish hits, it'll pull on this and it'll pull it right out. And then this will slide back to the center of the boat, hopefully avoiding some tangles. Ah, and that's what alerts you to the fact that there's a fish on. Yes. Cool, okay. Come on back to the boat, baby. Cool, look at that. Hey Trevor, do you think I could get a fight belt that's a little more manly? Uh, we might have to find you a different boat for that. Here we go! Oh, is that, so that's it way out there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's Holy your... cow! <laughs> now, is this the, uh, is this the pole with the different colors? Yes. And there are 10 different colors. What? Oh, <laughs> which one am I on right now? The very last? Uh, you're not on the color. Ah! All right. Color right oh, there. we see red, baby. Woo! Okay. Back, okay. Up, back up a little back bit. Back up a little bit. All right. Yep. Nope. Take keep, this board off. Do I keep reeling or am I yep, good? Yep, keep reeling. Okay. Now it's just you and the fish. Oh! Oh, baby! Yeah, he's taking it. Come on, man. Woo! All right, here we go. So now here you're to the lead core. You have 10 more colors to go. 10 more colors to go. All right, yeah, I'm on red. All right. Okay, so what's the plan when we get it up to the boat? You're gonna keep reeling and okay. I'm gonna... Okay, you're gonna use the net. Yeah, right. I'll use the net and uh, I'll get you to reel up all the way and I'll have you walk back <laughs> when I say so. Put your rod up This is awesome. Back. Okay. All right. Yeah, I saw him jump twice out there. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. oh, oh there he goes there? again! There he jumped! Yeah! Okay, he's still a ways out there. Oh, yeah. All right. You're into the fluorocarbon leader now. See it? Yep. The fish is getting close, so I'm gonna move Do I have to watch out for now. any other lines? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, baby! Awesome! That is 
is awesome! So that? Yes! That's a steelhead trout right there. Is that a steel? Is that a good catch? That is a very well above average fish. Woo! All right. That was awesome. I love it. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, we got another fish on here. Here you go. We're in another one. Didn't even have time to take a break, and we're back at it, baby. <laughs> so we're just about to get that other fish, the first one that I caught. Just about to show that one off, and then. I think we got another fish. Nice. Yes! Woo! So yeah, so we were going on that first one, and then before you know it, boom, a second one hits, right back in the ring, right back in the fight. Here we go. Landed it, a little smaller, but still tons of fun. So see, we got two steelhead here. Uh, one's, one's for the wall and one's great for the grill. This is awesome. I absolutely love it. Captain Lee, come on over and this tell me about this. This is a big steelhead. This is a dandy. You can fish out here a lot of times and not catch one that Serious? Day. And that fish was so far out, all the while that you're fighting him and bringing him in, he has a lot of opportunities to jump. We saw him jump a lot of times. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. A lot of times he'll twist and spit the hook. But you did an excellent job. You kept the line tight and we got him to the net. Woo! Sweet, I love it. Thanks, Captain awesome. Lee. Thanks, That's Trevor. awesome. <laughs> let's go get some more. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sweet. For more. All right, let's do it. It's about time I drive my own boat. Captain Matsumet. Should have been driving one years ago. On the path to where the fish are. Captain Mad Buddy, you know that's disconnected, right? That's not working. You're not doing anything. No, I'm driving the boat. Do you see us moving back and forth? That's because it's disconnected. Just got done putting those other two away. Now we're back at it, looking for more. You know, not gonna lie, a little of the forearm is tired. The one that's doing the reeling isn't so bad. The other one, yeah, it's feeling it. Man, even that sucker's a workout. It's a pretty nice steelhead. Beautiful fish. Yep, this one's a little bit closer to average, but yep, still a nice fish. Awesome for the grill. This is about the size you want for the grill. Yep, yep. They're all good for the grill, but you got some that are gonna be a little bit better than others. So this is more of the, uh, on average, the, yep. the size yep. more kind of what you'd catch out here? Yep, that's that's pretty average for a steelhead. Okay, beautiful. Great fight too, it's awesome. Yep, let's get him in the cooler and get some more. Got it. Matt, you were asking before at the dock about some of the, the techie things we have on the boat, the Love fish it. finders yep. and all that. Well, this this is another one of those techie things. This instrument here clips on above the downrigger weight and it's gonna go down with our bait and it's gonna be located right at the same level with our bait. It's gonna tell us what the speed is at our bait and the temperature. Wow. And then via water pressure, it'll tell us what depth it's at. Although we still know the depth from, from on here. And then up on the helm, there's an instrument that'll read all those surface temperature, surface speed. That's cool. Speed down here, temperature down there. Wow. And the neat thing is, brand new, is, is it's Bluetooth. I might be up steering, and if Trevor wants to know what the temperature or speed is down there, pull he can out. pull an app up on his phone, and he'll have the same readings that I have up there. It's unbelievable. I love it. No fighting belt on this time. No pink fighting belt on. Yes. Uh -oh. Did we get it in that one? Yeah. Got a little snag. A little snag, but we're good. Yes. Well, Matt, you got another king there, but I know this one's more of a little prince, but wow. you know it'll grill well. I guess this one goes along better with my uh, my with your pink be with your pink belt. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Love Trevor. So isn't there like some kind of truth where if you hold the fish out further, it makes it look like it's like 12 side, 12 times the size well, or something? Not quite, because you see how big them fingers are there? Yeah. That don't look natural. What? You gotta put your what fingers a... behind it. Oh! I'm yeah. learning a thing or two from Trevor. See, now, now look how big that looks like you're okay. holding. Does that look really big? That thing huge? That is a king, king, king salmon. Not a princess. Whatever. Boom. 
great time, Lake Michigan. Captain Lee, Trevor, the boys, hanging out, catching awesome fish. You gotta come and give this a shot sometime. It is well worth it. Hey everyone, welcome back. Now next we head to Rainy Lake, the border between Minnesota and Northwest Ontario. It's the spring of the year and that water temperature is reaching that magical 60 degrees. The smallmouth bass are moving up into the shallows to spawn and it's one of my favorite times of year to catch this awesome fighting fish. Let's check it out. Catching fish again. I mean, it's like every other cast we're getting a smallmouth and caught this one about as far as I could cast over that shoreline. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got to follow us. There's a couple extra ones right here if somebody wants to pitch in. Hooked up. Got one in the back. <laughs> this is crazy. Jeez, you know, insane. we've had a great morning out here just catching walleyes on Rainy Lake and we just got into some of the shallows here and the sun's come out and the wind's kind of laid down and Bill suggested why don't we throw into some of these rocky points and the wind is kind of pushing in here and I think it's moving some of that bait in. And I'll tell you what, these smallmouth are in here like crazy. That's a pretty good fish. Look at that. <laughs> Incredible. Rainy Lake smallmouth. Bob just had one in the front of the boat. And this one followed up and literally just about every other cast we're putting in. And, and all we did was literally take our, our minnows off the jig heads and just put a small plastic on. And these guys are all over in these rocks. You know, I think we've all heard about the variety of fish in Rainy Lake. <laughs> this is a testament to it. We're walleye fishing and we go a couple hundred yards, get up on the rocks and some great smallmouth bass. Awesome fish. It's coming up slow. Come on now. Here he comes. There, set the hook. There he is. Any bass fisherman would be really proud to that one, wouldn't they, Bob? Yeah. Yes. Would that be a keeper for the uh, tournament, or is he too small? Oh, he'll work. He'll work. All right. Nice fish. We're actually getting into some pretty nice smallmouth here. We just got smacked here off this rock pile. Feisty fish here. We actually uh, changed up. We're starting to use some plastics here. Put the minnows away this afternoon and. Catching some bronze backs off the shallow rock piles that are heating up here in the afternoon. Put it back and let it grow to a five pounder. I got a nice one. Oh, he's got shoulders on him. He was following up yours. I, I've seen him. Oh, there he is. Ah. Boy, those plastics work really well, don't they? Yeah. The walleyes were a little slow, but boy, these uh, bass are just really, this afternoon are unbelievable. It's not every cast, but it's darn near. Everybody's catching fish. And, and, and they just they just attack it. You just had one miss and that one come right behind and picked it up. And getting these barbs out with it, there he is and he wants to go back in. Now that's a nice looking fish, is it not? Oh, okay, here you go. Got a nice smallie on here, pulling some drag. Uh, just pitched up on this point here. Wind's blowing in. I mean, pound per pound, uh, these smallmouth put up a good, good fight. Just simple plastics, 3 16 jig. Just pitching the points on Rainy Lake. All 
right up against the rock wall. And no more and hit the water and he was on it. He doesn't like me either. He's pulling back. He's coming towards me. There he is. Oh, that's a nice fish. Where are those fish in August when the big tournament's on? Nice big fat fish. There he is. That plastic hanging right out of his mouth. Boy, he was, he was right there. As soon as I dropped that lure next to that rock ball, he was on it. There's no denying that these really work. There he is. Nice fish. Set up for the... Well, he's got a little bit of a mark on him like he got hit by something. I suppose he's in the rocks. Oh, look at, look at. There, we got another one on the other line. Perfect. I'll let him go. We got a fish on right now and uh, if you leave him down there for a little bit, these smallmouth bass like to follow each other in. So Bill dropped another lure. We'll see if we can get them both to bite. I mean, that's a nice fish there. But just a second ago, there were two or three more following. I don't see him anymore, so we'll get him in. Oh, this is Randy. Yeah. I mean, it's like every third cast today, right now, this afternoon, just, just popping these fish. Well, I think it's just the warmer water right now. We're probably in 56 degrees. We got some nice boulders down here and they're just feeding on the minnows. Ah, uh, the wind's been blowing into this bay here probably for two, three days, and they're just in here staging up to go spawn, and they are definitely feeding today, so, I mean, that's just a beautiful fish. So, I'll bet you we've caught probably 15 of these here just recently, so, yeah, we'll let this one back. Ooh, that was close. Even inches. Right over the spot we just drifted over with the boat. They don't seem to care. Ah, perfect. Jack just got that nice one in and this one just smacked her. Not even 30 seconds apart. Get that hook out of there. One thing fishing these smallmouth have good hooks and you're not going to lose them. I mean, they bite and they bite and they're on. So we'll throw this one back and let it grow up. Yeah, we're just fishing these rocky points here. You can see the type of rock we're fishing along the shoreline and it just drops off into the lake and they're sitting there. Just got to get out and start fishing the shoreline. Feisty little guy. And you can see how clear that water is. He's down there swimming around right now. Here he comes. Oh, down under the boat, wear him out. Let's see if we can get him in. We just kind of moved off that point, kind of coming up the shoreline. You can see the rocks under the water and every rock has one hidden under it. like that we go back to casting oh yeah got some brown color out there oh yeah there he is see if we got any colors I wish I don't see any yet there's just some beautiful fish I could fish these things all day A little full. <laughs> There's a fish <laughs> right on that point. As soon as it hit the water, he just nailed it. <laughs> Look at that incredible smallmouth bass. I tell you what, we have just beat them up here on this shoreline. And it's been a ton of fun. I'm out of breath just because it's been just crazy. One cast right after another. I've got to thank my buddy Bill Valentine from International Falls, Minnesota. Rainy Lake Guide Service. I tell you what, we've had a ton of fun. Bob French brought us out here today and it has been fish after fish after fish. So I tell you what, folks, if you're interested in a great time multi-species, Rainy Lake, Minnesota, 
you can't go wrong. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Awesome fish. <laughs>